Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on any do. In this video we will talk about any do, its membership plans and the sign up and account setup processes. We will do a walkthrough of the interface and we will show you how to create a task and a list. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. AnyDo or Any.do is a productivity platform aimed at task and project management, with the help of which you can easily organize your life and manage your team's work. It has been used by over 30 million highly effective people and teams like Uber, Vanguard, Remax, WeWork, Harvard University and more. To know the price and different membership plans, click on the pricing tab at the top navigation bar. This is the membership details page. Here you can see that any.do has three different membership plans, which are personal, premium and teams. The personal plan is free forever and with this you can organize every corner of your personal life. The key features of the personal plan are tasks and lists, Reminders, Calendar, Daily Planner, and Sync Across Devices. The premium plan is for power users who want to manage work and life like a pro. This plan is at $3 per month and it is billed annually. With this plan, you will get everything that's in the personal plan, along with other key features like recurring tasks, WhatsApp reminders, color tags, more than 5,000 app integrations and location reminders. And lastly is the team plan, with the help of which you can collaborate with your entire team on any project or task all in one place. This plan is at $5 per user per month and it is also billed annually. With this plan, you will get everything that's in the premium plan along with other beneficial features like collaborative workspace, unlimited project boards, unlimited team members, more than 100 workflow templates, and admin tools and permissions. We are going ahead with the personal plan here, so click on the Get Started button. This is the sign up page. From here you can continue with your Google account, and from here, you can also use your Apple or Facebook account. But if you don't want to continue with any of these options, then you can also continue with your email. Here, enter your email ID and then press enter. Now here, enter your full name and then here, create a password. And then finally, click on the create account button. On the next page, you will be asked, how do you plan to use any.do? Here you have two options, just me and with my team. With the just me option, you can easily manage your work, life and everything in between. In the with my team option, you can easily manage your team's work with project boards, tasks, chat and more. You can proceed with any of these two options according to your requirements. Here we are going ahead with the just me option. Now you need to set up your account in just three easy steps. This is the first step and you will be asked to create your first task. You can go ahead and create a task or else click on the skip button. This is the second step in which you will be given some popular apps from where you can easily sync or import your tasks. Any.do supports popular apps like Asana, Monday, Trello, to do is click up and gyra but if you're not using any of these apps then just click here on i'm not using these apps this is the third and the last step where you need to choose whether you like to upgrade your membership or not if you choose to upgrade your account you will be given a discount for upgrading your plan to 12 months you will be given a 50 percent discount and for upgrading to 6 months, you will get a discount of 25%. If you wish to upgrade, just select your plan and then click on the continue button or else click on no thanks. 
This is your dashboard. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the interface. On the top left corner, you will see your name. If you click on it, you will see many tabs here. Under the account section, you can access my profile, integrations, archived tasks, and import to any dot do. Under the workspace section, you can access the create a new workspace page. Under the preferences section, you can access my day, theme, background, desktop notifications, default list, time settings, and language. And last is the any.do section. From here, you can access shortcuts, support, and about. On your dashboard in the left side bar, there are three shortcuts for my day, next seven days, and all my tasks. Below, you will see the my list section in which you can create your list for personal, work, and grocery list. Below, you will see the tags section from where you can easily sort out your tasks and lists by using different tags. And lastly, at the bottom of the left side bar, from here you can create a workspace. From this connect button, you can easily connect your Google Calendar and sync it with any dot do, and all your tasks and schedule will get imported. Now let's create a task. Click on the text box at the bottom of the page and enter a title for your task. We are entering mailbox. And then press enter and your task will get created. Now click on it and it will open in a pop-up window. From here you can rename this task. And from here you can create a reminder for this. Click on it and then here set the date. Here set the time. Or from here you can easily set a reminder for later today, tomorrow, next week and someday. From here, you can also set a recurring reminder and then finally click on the set button. Now here you can see that the reminder has been set. From here, you can move it to the personal list and from here you can create a tag for this task. Here you can enter a note for this task. And from here, you can also create a sub task under this main task. And lastly, from here, you can add attachments. You just need to drag and drop on this pop-up window. Now let's create a list. Click on this plus icon and in the pop-up window enter a name for your list. And then click on the create button. Your list will get created and you can see it in the left side bar under the my list section. To add items in it, click on it and the list will open. Then at the bottom of the page, use this text box to add items in this list. Just type the list name, then press enter and it will be shown here. So this was a complete walkthrough of the interface. And with this, we have completed our tutorial on any do. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.